secrets of martial arts weapons. The origin of Nunchaku dates back to the 17th century. During the Japanese occupation of Okinawa some 360 years ago, invading war leaders prohibited the use of ordinary weapons such as swords or guns. As a result, the Okinawans turned to karate and martial arts weapons for protection. Some of these weapons were farm implements which the ingenious farmers converted into effective protection devices. The forerunner of the nunchaku was an instrument used to pound grain, which was later put to practical use as a martial arts weapon. The nunchaku was constructed of two wood sticks connected by horse tails. Today, the sticks are made of a variety of materials, from plastic and foam for training purposes to different kinds of wood. The sticks are normally tied together with rope or chain. During the instruction, we recommend the use of training nunchakus. Hello, my name is Hien Nguyen and welcome to my Nunchuck video. I have, I'd like to talk about some points before we begin. Number one is this video is intended for using the art of martial art using as uh, flexibility, coordination. So this is not intended for self-defense purposes. It is against the law to use nunchucks for defense purposes. So again, I'd like to say that when we go into these techniques, that it is to help you have a coordination, it is to have your flexibility, through your arms, and it's also very fun to do. Uh, another point I'd like to do is when you do my uh, nunchuck video, please be very uh, self-aware on using um, what's around you. Uh, sometimes the nunchuck can't fly away, it can hurt somebody else, or it can hurt yourself also. Please also use, if you can, uh, there's, el there's elbow gear, there is knee pads that you can also wear, and if you need to, you can also have uh, head gear, and that will also give you uh, protection against the nunchucks. And also I would recommend that you do use uh, foam nunchucks, which I have in my hand right now. So just in case when you wrap yourself around it, it doesn't hurt. Another point I'd like to give out when we're doing this video is that uh, the clothing you're going to wear. Well, wear something loose fitting. Uh, uh, any sweatshirt would do. A karate gi is fine. But make sure that the karate gi or the shirt you're wearing is not baggy. Because when we're twirling a nunchuck, you might get caught in your armpit or on your, around your neck. So we want it a little bit tighter fitting, a little bit loose, so it'll be easier to move. One thing I'd like to also say is that if you do get tired, uh, put your videotape on pause. We can always come back into it. And if you don't understand something, again, put it on rewind, and we'll start right over again. And that's enough about me talking. Let's go into the num check action. There are two stances I'd like to talk about. One is a basic horse stance, where we're going to use legs parallel, toes facing forward, backs nice and straight, knees both bent. Okay, this here, we can, we can use this for uh, regular twirling around, which I'll tell you later. And the side stance, or your fighting stance, legs both bent, 50-50 weight distribution, and your shoulders going to tilt it forward. And again, make sure you are comfortable, you don't have, there is no set kind of uh, footing that you need to do. Again, you can do the left side, you can do the right side, and the front one is the horse stance. Holding the nunchucks, it's very important you hold this properly, not only so it won't fly away, but more control on the nunchuck. On the part where it's connected to the chain here, you want to hold it just right there, a nice firm hold. If you hold it back over here, it's okay, but it might be just a little bit awkward. Definitely, if you put it here, it might fall off, and when you twirl it, it doesn't have a nice, smooth ride to it. But if you feel 
that you want a nice grip to it, put it right on top of where my hand is. Nice firm grip and your wrist should be nice and loose. Tight firm on, on the hand again. Make sure you do that. Okay, once we got the grip and we got our stance, we're gonna go into our figure eight. Let's go right back, right leg back into a fighting stance. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand, let's see without the nunchuck first, and draw a sideways figure eight. See how my hand is holding a side figure eight. And if you make a fist out of it, same thing. Now all you have to do is take the nunchuck and do your figure eight. No problem, very easy. Let's do it on your left side. Figure eight. Just remember the figure eight. Nice and smooth. Don't jerk it around like this. It's nice and smooth. Use the wrist. Also, go horse stance. Figure eight. And you switch side, left side, figure eight. Once you get that going good, then we can put together figure eight going forward and fight into your right leg fighting stance. Left side. And horse stance. Other side. Try that about two or three times. Okay, now we did the figure eights. I want you to do is put all the combination together. So we're talking about the forward figure eight. Reverse. The upside down. Do about two or three, four times. I hope you enjoy the figure eights. The figure eights that we do, forward, reverse, upside down, is basically actually blocking. So if someone comes in or something like that, you're using it for blocking, okay? Now we're gonna to learn to do hand switches, okay? That's switching from one hand to another. There are different kinds. The first one I want to teach you is called a simple up, okay? So we're gonna start with your, um, the nunchucks out like this. Nice grip, okay? And we're gonna move the nunchuck towards my right shoulder and catch it underneath my armpit. Again, from here, we're going to move it over my shoulder. Pretty easy, it's called a simple up. Now from here, we're going to switch arms. So you're going to do is, I'm going to take my left hand, see my left hand here, reach it over to my left side and catch it with my right hand. Okay, I'm going to start real easy again. From here, I let go of the, my left hand, bring it over my shoulder, with my left hand, swing it over my right, left shoulder, and vice versa, just simple up. And this is for a hand switch. Okay, and you can keep on doing this with your fighting stance, left side, horse stance, right stance. So you just go again, fighting stance, left side, horse stance. You're going to keep on doing this for about two or three minutes. You're going to feel a nice workout on your arms.
Okay, our second hand switch will be our hip switch. Okay, so we know about basically the simple walk, which is over to your shoulder, left side, right side. Once you get that, we're going to do the hip switch. So let's go on a horse stance here. Put your hand out for like this. Nice grip on the nunchuck. Drop your left hand. From here, you're going to make, uh, take the nunchuck chain and wrap it around your hip. Okay, again, drop it. Take it over your hip. Now once it comes back, because it's going to come back on your hip, you're going to take your left hand and hold it out. Now eventually what's going to happen is that when you put it over your hip, it will come back towards you. Now the secret, here, the secret here is this. Once you're in that horse stance and you drop your uh, nunchuck, when you move to your left, make sure the nunchuck wraps around your hip. Okay? Don't do it like this because then you're hitting yourself. It's not going to bounce back. Well, it might bounce back, but it's not going to bounce back as clean. Okay, you want to wrap it around your hip and put your hand, left hand up. Again, drop the nunchuck towards your left hip, hands up. Continuation is the same thing on the opposite side. Let go of your right hand, which is my bottom nunchuck here. Wrap around the hip. Remember, we talked about the hip. And put your hand straight out. Okay, again, here. Let go towards the hip. Grab the nunchuck. Let go towards the hip. Grab the nunchuck. This right here is a continuation of the hip switch. All you're doing is wrapping the nunchuck around your hip as you're switching the hand. When I let go, I'm putting my hand over on top. It makes it a lot easier to grab. So once it's here, it makes it a lot easier to grab. Okay. You begin from here. Drop the nunchuck towards your left. Remember, make sure it's wrapped around your hip. Okay. Then once you get that, you should, you should get it nice and flowing. Watch the hip. Pull around the hip. See around the hip. To review real quickly, we have the simple up, hand switch. Then we have the hip switch, coming down towards your hip. Okay, again, we start from this position, the simple up. Then, once you get into this position, do your hip. This is a combination for the hip exercise. You start from this position, go through your simple walk, you do this about 10 times. Once you get towards your right side, go towards your hip, you do that about another 5 or 10 times. Okay, from here, this position, and then this position. So I'm going to do it real quick. Now we did two uh, switches, the simple walk, hand switch, and then the hip switch. Now, what I want you to think about is this. 
In the beginning, look down and see how you're doing. Okay, because you want to see what's going on here. And look at where the nunchuck's going when you do the simple up. After a while, once you get good, you should basically do it with your eyes closed. Okay? Because you should feel the nunchuck around your hip, and also you feel the grabbing the nunchuck. It should be just nice and flowing, bouncing the nunchuck. Okay? Have fun. A quick review. You talk about the blocking, which are the figure eights, remember the upside down, the forward and the reverse. Then we did the hand switches, the simple up, and then we did off of the hip. The next thing we're going to do is talk about the strikes. Okay, there's three things I want to teach on the strikes. There's going to be the front strike, the side strike, and the cross. Let's talk first about the front strike. So, from a horse head position, your hands out like this, we're going to do the simple up. Okay, we, we reviewed this before. Remember, we just bring it right over your shoulder. The front strike to begin, you're going to do is come your shoulder down. Now, you're going to catch the nunchuck with your armpit. This might take a little time, so here we go again. From the simple up, bring the nunchuck over you and catch it towards your armpit. Okay? Over your, over your armpit again. Okay? Now, that's not the strike yet. That's just getting ready. Okay? So from here, over your armpit. The front strike we're going to do is we're going to shoot it just like a gun. Okay? You're going to shoot it out and come back into your armpit. Okay? Now, make sure that when you do this, your nunchuck points to the outside of your body. If it is my right hand, it shoots from the outside of my body. From here, it's easier to shoot the nunchuck out and bring it back in. If I do it from the inside, it really won't work, you see? But it really won't work as much. Okay, so make sure you're showing it out and bring it back in. And bring it out again. It's going to take time to do, to do the catch, okay? Because what happened? This is a common mistake. When you strike out, you, you can't catch it. That's, that's, but no problem, we can fix that. Once you strike it out, pull the nunchuck back in. Now, make sure that when you do this, your nunchuck points to the outside of your body. If it is my right hand, it shoots from the outside of my body. From here, it's easier to shoot the nunchuck out and bring it back in. If I do it from the inside, it really won't work, you see? But it really won't work as much. Okay, so make sure you're showing it out and bring it back in. Okay, once you get that going, another combination you could do for the strike, it towards the simple up, bring it down, strike about two or three times. Do your hand switch, bring it over your armpit, one or two, th three times. And repeat it. So from here, from the side, Have fun. Okay, now we did the front strike. Let's talk about two other strikes that I didn't mention. One is the side strike. It's pretty easy. Let's go to the horse stance. From this position, you bring your hand out, and you're going to shoot it towards the side. You bring it back to the armpit. Very easy. From up position, you shoot it to the side. Remember, your elbow here is going to point inside your body now. The nunchuck, same thing. Point inside your body. Strike it to the side and come back in. So watch, from simple up position, elbow in, nunchuck pointing towards me. Not like this though, make sure you don't do that. Enough space, twirl about two or three times into your armpit. And we'll do it very slowly. Simple up, twirl out number inside the body, two or three times into your armpit. Usually what I like to do is I usually just do two times and come back in. Okay, so from here, two times and bring it back. Simple up, two times, bring it back in. Now, what you're going to do is towards your left side. Same thing. From this position, the simple up, two or three times, however you feel. I like to do two, and bring it back to your armpit. Okay, this is the side strike. Same note, make sure the elbow is pointing towards inside your body and the numb chest. And towards your armpit. Okay, simple up, to the side, and bring it back. Now, you notice on this side strike right here, you're almost ready for the front strike, so we're going to do that. So from here, we're going to do step up, side strike, front strike. Good, let's do it again. From here, step up, side strike, front strike. Again, side strike, front strike. Okay? When we do combination, it's better to do one move. 
So instead of two side step, it's easier just to do one into your move. So this is what I mean. So from this position, one, one. One side, one front. On the other side, okay, same thing. From here, simple up, one side strike. Our third strike is the cross strike. So from our simple up, we're gonna go across the body, okay? Remember when I talk about the hip, same thing here. When we go across the body, you're gonna use your hip across the body and bring it back to the first position which is simple up. Across the body, come back up. Across the body, come back up. Pretty easy. So from this position, simple up, across the body. Now you notice here when I say across the body, it's across diagonal. It's not across this way horizontal. It's diagonal. Okay, so diagonal and come back up. Okay, so from the simple up, across. This is your cross strike. Other side, same thing. From the simple up, using my right hip now, across the body, diagonal. Cross my hip, cross my hip, come back to simple. Cross my hip, come back to diagonal. This is what you call the cross strike. So we have three strikes. We have the front strike, the side strike, and the Okay, now we're going to do combination strikes. We talked about the front strike, the side strike, and the cross. So we're going to put all three together. In this position, good horse stance, back nice and straight. The simple up, side, front strike, bring it back to the simple up, force your hip to cross strike. The other side, the same thing. From the other side, you're going to do side, front, bring it back to simple, cross. Okay, so it should look like this. Side, front, back position, cross. Side, front, cross. Switch. From here, front, back to position, cross. So it should look like this. Okay, have fun with that. Let's do a quick review. We did blocking, which are the figure eights. Then we did the strikes, the side strike, the cross strike, the front strike. We also did hand switches, the simple up, and also the hip switch. Make sure that if you do not understand all this stuff, stop the tape, rewind it, and play it over and over again. So that makes sure that you have all the basics before we go to the next step. But before we go to the next step, we got something special for you. Check this out. Okay, for our intermediate part, we're gonna put our blocks together. The figure eights, upside down, and also the sideways one. Okay, so let's go on a horse stance here. In the first position, let's go to simple up. We're gonna start with the figure eight, bring it back to our armpit, okay? Let's do it again real quick from here. Figure eight, bring it back to our armpit. Figure eight, bring it back. Now from here, I want you to reverse it. Okay, let's do it again. From here, we're going to go into our figure eight forward. Armpit, reverse. And then from there, we are going to add our upside down. So this is going to be what it's going to look like. From here, forward. Armpit, reverse. Over the shoulder, upside down. Then back to our simple position. Okay, this is called combination number one blocks. From here, we're going to go figure eight, armpit, figure eight, simple up, upside down. Then back to our up position. Again, from here, we're going to start figure eight, reverse, up position, upside down. Okay. And then from here, of course, you can also do the other side. Figure eight, reverse, upside down. Oops, again. And of course, the upside down. I want you to work on this combination. Combination number one, which is going forward figure eight, backward figure eight, upside down figure eight, okay? 
Do it on the left side and the right side. Do it about three or four times. Okay, now we're going to talk about two hand switches. These next two switches really take a lot of concentration, so I want you to really concentrate here. From the horse head position, we're going to go back to the fighting stance. Now, do you remember when we did the step up, we did the hip move? Well, the same thing, but you're going to do the neck. This time, what you're going to do is, as they go around, you're going to catch it. Okay? So from here, instead of going to the hip, you're going to the neck, and then catch it. Now, here's the trick. Make sure that the numb truck comes across you. Do not go on an angle because then it'll hit your shoulder. Do not go up because then it'll hit your head. Make sure you go across the neck. You see that? Across the neck. And when you catch the numb truck, open your hand. Once you feel it hit your palm, catch it. So once you feel it hit your palm, catch it. Again, go across your body, bring your arms across. You should be able to catch it. Once you catch it, let go of your hand and bring it across your body. Again, um, find a position, bring it over to your up, zip up, bring it over your neck. As you do that, bring your hand across. Let go, bring it across your body. Okay? And then you do it again. Across the neck, come down. This is your hand switch. It's, it's the neck and hip combination. Make sure, again, very important, that you come across your neck. Once you get that, then you try the other side. So from here, the same thing, bring it across your body and catch. Now, if you feel like sometime when you come across your body and hit your shoulder, don't worry about it. Just bring it back and try it again. And I recommend you also do it slow, because if you do it too fast, you might hit your jaw. And that won't be a good thing. So make sure you're going across your shoulder. Across. Yeah, watch. Then across the hip. Neck. Hip. Neck. Hip. Neck. See that? When it doesn't do that, just do it again. No big deal. Come across your neck. Come down. Across your neck. Come down. Take your time on through this. This takes a lot of practice. You have to have a good feeling on where the numb check is going to be. Okay? If it doesn't catch, no big deal. Let go and try it again. Over the neck, bring it down. Over the neck, bring it down. So let's do a combination that will let you do a workout of it. So from here, this position, let go, bring it to your simple up, cross it to your left, bring it down, 
do this about two or three times. Once you get over to the neck position, bring it down to your arm catch. Bring it back and try the opposite direction. About two to three times. Once you get it over towards your neck, let go, bring it to the armpit position, simple up, and do it again. So it should look like this, on both sides. Okay, make sure that when you wrap it around, feel the way the nunchuck is, then catch it, okay? And when you throw the nunchuck, make sure it goes horizontal across and around you, so you have a good aim towards it. You're going to be able to do this about two or three times, okay? Two or three times. And then, remember I said it again, you're going to switch it towards the other side. So once you get around here, bring it to your armpit, try the other side. Take your time on this because you're wrapping around your whole body and also the sensitivity of your neck. So I want you to take your time and make sure you get it properly. So after a while, you should be able to do it nice and flowing. Okay, our next move is the intermediate second part of our strikes. Now, remember again, you got to make sure you know your basic before we move on. Because it's basically almost the same thing. We're going to add two moves that you basically know and then one extra move. Start in a horse stance position, get right back in the fighting stance. Now, what we're going to do is go into the simple up, strike it to your armpit, strike it out, come across. Remember how we did that? But come back to your hip and come back. That's the extra move. Once you go across, hit it towards the other side and come back up. Again, from a horse stance, we're going to go back to a fighting stance, go to simple up, side strike, front strike, side strike, hit the hip, come back. That's our extra move. The second move you already know, which is the footwork. We're going to go around the clock. We're going to go 12, to 3, to 6, back over to 9 o'clock and to 12. Okay, so we're going to do it slowly for now. Step up, side, front, hip here, hip the other side, back up. Then we're going to adjust, go towards our right side to 3 o'clock, side, front, bring it back, cross, hit the other hip, come back. Again, you already know this, so this should be really easy. Front, cross, I'm sorry, cross, towards hip, back up. Same thing over here. We're going to strike, side, front, strike, cross, towards the hip, come back. And of course, we're going to finish up at 12 o'clock, same thing. Front, cross, the extra move, come back. So the extra move should look like this. See? We're going to do it towards your left side, same thing. Left hand, we're going to go to the simple up, side, front. Go across, back of the hip, and just simple. We're going to go at 9 o'clock, same thing. Side, front, cross the hip. Make sure you hit that hip over here. Don't hit yourself. Hit the hip around it, towards the other hip, and come back. Towards 6 o'clock, side, front, cross, the extra move, come back. Same thing over here. Side, front, come back, cross, extra hip, come back. And of course, we're going to finish back at 12 o'clock. So these two extra two moves, you already know. The footwork. Towards the other side. And then the extra move, which is the extra hip. So putting it all together, it should look like this. Front strike. Yes, this come back. This moves right here will teach you to be able to use the nunchuck while you're moving. So if you like, basically later on, you can move around using the same combination.
Don't be limited to which way you can move. You can move the reverse direction. Remember the hand switch. You can reverse the switch. You're not limited by your creativity. Enjoy and have fun. Okay, that wraps up our uh, intermediate part of the uh, single nunchucks. I want you to check this one out. Welcome back. I hope uh, you enjoy that. Now, let's go for our bonus uh, move. This is what you call the snake, okay? Basically, what it is is a nunchuck that's going to wrap around your hand. Like that. Now, let me explain you how to do it. You're going to use your leg, bring it down. Same principle as the hip. Bring it down your leg. As it come back, once it wraps around your hand, let go and catch it. So what? Now the trick here is this: once you wrap it down, you gotta let your that you gotta let your your the nunchuck wrap around your hand. If you don't let it wrap around your hand, it's gonna drop. Okay? So you gotta do it. Let it wrap around your hand. See this? So again, let it wrap around your hand. The continuation of the snake is the reverse. Once you have this here, bounce it on the other side and go forward. So that would be the full snake. This is the half snake, and the other way, it's a full snake. The trick to get it on the opposite side, same principle. Make sure it wraps around, grab from here. Let Make sure it wraps around your hand, then catch it, okay? Slowly, see that, let it wrap, bounce the leg towards the hip. No, I'm sorry, towards the leg, don't go towards the hip. Where's the leg? Let it go and wrap. This is what you call the snake. Opposite direction, and opposite hand. Once you get both directions, go back towards your hip, hand switch, first side. Do about two or three times. Once you get to the back position, hand switch, reverse. Okay, again, couple pointer. Make sure it wraps around your hand. Wrap it around your hand, let go. When it comes back, same principle. 
the wrap. Okay, one way is the half stick, the other way is the full stick. Either way, it's called a snake. Enjoy that one. How would you like to learn that? Well, actually, it's not that hard. Let me show you. In our first segment, I taught you to do the nuptial with one hand. Well, on this segment, I'm going to teach you to do it both on the same time. So let's begin with this. Remember the horse dance we did? And also we did figure eights? Well, let's do the figure eights separately, like this. How about the reverse? Which is remember, it's the same thing as doing only this. But now we're going to add it together. Reverse. Now the figure eight upside down is a little bit harder, so I would do a single. One, put it back. Two, put it back. Now let's put it together. Again, quick review, we could do figure eights on both sides like this, upside down figure eight, taking turns, or another version is figure eight one way, figure eight the other way, reverse it. Now, what you could do is make your own version. So let's say, for instance, you're in this horse stance. I can do figure eight. Backward. Reverse the other way. Back. Together. Differently. And another cool version is doing a figure eight, but cross. How you do that, let me show you. What you're going to do is you're going to try to do the figure eight together without hitting. Cross and over. Again, cross and over, cross and over. A continuous figure eight with a cross would be look like this. And of course, Whatever you could do forward, remember, we could go backward. Forward, backward.
Have fun with that one. With the double dump chucks, we also could do different opposite direction. Let me show you. This looks really cool. With your right side, go forward. With your left side, go backward. So what you have is opposite direction. Okay, again, one way going forward, which I'm going to use my right hand, and the other one backward. To practice that, you start again, just go forward, back the other way. Once you get that, reverse it. Okay, once you got that one, then you use the shoulder, the shoulder and the armpit hips. Again. Just put it all together. So, we're going to go forward with one hand, back with the other one. Turn it to the armpit. Put it together. Once you have this, our next step would be the leg. Leg and shoulder. Make sure you hit the leg between the knee and your leg. Then we can go back towards the shoulder or the spin. And then in combination, the leg, the shoulder. And if you really want to have fun, you just put it all together. Now don't get discouraged if you don't get this right away. Because this is almost like, uh, remember, like patting your head while you're rubbing your stomach. Again, if you do not understand, Stop the tape. Hit rewind and play it over and over again. When you do double nunchucks, make sure that you're, you're, you have enough room and not get close to your body. Okay? Especially when you do figure eights. You have enough room. A good stance to do the double nunchuck is your horse stance. Don't get limited by just uh, my moves of figure eights. Remember, you could do left side, right side, together, left and right side together. You could do upside down figure eight, you could do backward figure eight. So don't limit yourself to just one move. There's a lot of moves you could do in combination. Our next move that we're going to do with W nunchucks is going to be alternating. With your right hand, we're going to go up to the simple up, go across the hip, remember we did this, across the other hip, and come back. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, we're going to do it with your left hand. Same thing. Up to the simple up. Hip, hip, over. Make sure you wrap it towards the hip and come back. And once you get that, you alternate. In the up position, right side, left side, right side, left side. From the side angle, right side, left side. Now, the trick to this to get a nice flow movement is this. Once you go towards your hip, automatically go towards the left side. So once you're finishing this move, go right into the next move. So it flows. Flow. Don't stop in between. If you stop, then it's going to look not as flowing. It's going to be rocky. So 
Just when it's about to finish, start the next one. Quick overview, give me a horse stance. Okay, great. Outside. Upside down, alternating. Opposite directions. Okay, great. Then the combination. Put it all together. Remember, don't limit to just one move. You can do a whole mess of different combinations. I'm going to show you something really cool, which, which we're going to be able to do it in a figure eight fashion, like this. Now it looks pretty hard, but it's not really that not that hard. So let me show it to you very slowly. Start from the simple up. Make your figure eight. This is your forward figure eight. Once you go towards your left side, let go. Once you let go, the number check should be pointing straight up. Once you point to the other side, finish your figure eight on the opposite side. As you finish it, let go again. Should, then the nunchuck should go back to his normal position, which is nunchuck back down towards arm. Again, let go, wraps around here, and back. Once you get continuous motion, it should look like this. Okay, then the pointers and a common mistake. Pointer is this: once you're on your left side and you go to your right side, and when you come back, do an extra twirl to come back to the other side. Extra twirl. This extra twirl allows you to keep it continuous. Common mistakes on these. When you do your four figure eight, 
as you let go, when you go in the opposite, opposite direction, you don't, you have to let it go as it wraps. See, as it wraps. If you let go when too early, if you let it go too early, you won't be able to catch it and follow up with the figure eight. So you gotta make sure that you wrap it around your hand. Around your hand. Okay. Once you get that, let's go the opposite direction. Same principle. Figure eight, reverse it. As you come over to your right side now, let go. And let go in the opposite direction. So this is called the slow snake figure eight. Two ways, forward and backward. This is the backward one. This is the forward one. If you do it with the other hand, same principle. Forward the reverse, as you go over to your left side, stick. Reverse. Here's a quick exercise you could do. From a horse stand position, simple up, forward figure eight. Once you go back to the armpit, reverse the figure eight. Forward. When you do this, look at the nunchuck and feel when to let go. See, if you do it slow, it still looks as good and it could be as flowing. But make sure you look at it so you can concentrate on how the nunchuck's moving. After you get this, you guys could do it, your eyes closed. And feel where the number check is. You can speed it up. Slow it down. Now this is a little bit difficult, so try to do this around four or five times. And just do single number check. All the stuff you'll learn. And when you finish, bring the second one. Once you do that about three or four times, you can have a good workout. So enjoy that. Have fun. Remember, don't limit yourself to just one or two moves. Any combination would do. If you make a mistake, no big deal. Just do it again. I hope you had fun. Now remember, when we're doing nunchuck, we're doing an art form. So not only are you working your hand-eye coordination, you're getting a good workout with your arms, you're learning circular movements. So if you're either doing karate or kung fu, that will help you out. And remember, make sure you work over the basic over and over again. Because once you get that, everything is almost the same. Now, if you feel like you made a mistake and you get discouraged, don't worry about it. Take a break. Or you could do is also stop the tape, rewind it, and watch it over and over again. But whatever you do, don't give up. Don't give up. 
because it took me a long time. You're not going to become a master overnight. And remember, what I taught today of nunchuck is an art form. It teaches hand-eye coordination. It is illegal to use them as a weapon. Okay, I hope you had fun, and do not quit. And I'll see you next time. If you get discouraged of it, just take a break, relax, go get a cup of coffee or something. Coffee <laughs> <laughs>